I mean, if, if there was a giant red button here with the words press to end world and you believed it, you you would have a motive to lock up anyone who was constantly saying, Ooh, what happens if I press this button? Oh, God. Election day is starting. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off to the temple to do some more praying, I guess. The many shall suffer. And there it is. Are there any of those bowmen, women, statues close by? Doesn't look... Whoa, that was quick. Okay, well done, that man. That is a man who has kept up with his cardio. Right. So, we go back. We try to talk Ulpius out of jumping. We then go and save Yulia, having already saved Ulpius. And, oh, wait. Silphium resin. So I did only give her a sip and I can I don't need to get that again. All right, that is Oh, I should probably talk to Galerius first. I'm not Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Right. I have um I'm Gordon and we've had this I need you to take care of some things urgently. I do. I can I get you to take care of multiple well, things now? Sounds serious. I'm listening. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, right. I need you to stop. Can I get you to do both? I need you to stop Fabia enter entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for in there. Right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Excellent. Also, Yulia's dying, but Lucretia can't help her without some Silphium. Take some of it and... Pouring a little bit of it, I think, into some sort of container nearby, I'm guessing. You go and save her, yes? Yulia? Oh, no. All right, I can do that. All right, that's it. Off I'll go. go. But Dude. once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Right, yes. No, I, I absolutely will. And I'm going to be having a conversation with you about an election, apparently. Now I am... Yes, I've still kept this, which... I'm not saying he wouldn't make a good magistrate, because he does seem like a fairly good person, but couldn't I just... I could still try to get everyone to vote for um, Sentius and acquire the key a different way. I could just... I could just let Dooley out of his cage. That breaks the golden rule. He gives me the key, hopefully, before he gets shot, and then I run like hell and I keep the key. I mean... Yeah, should I really be interfering with the politics here? I mean, Galerius does seem like a nice man, though, doesn't he? I mean, he's very, very helpful. And he stayed neutral in the election. Yes, he did. So he doesn't have a firm opinion either way. However, he is a believer in the golden rule, and that's kind of important. Okay, now is... Oh. Okay, so I can keep getting richer and richer, apparently. Um, I don't think I need the money, though, anymore. Well... Oh, no, I don't. I've already got the key. I've already got the key to the mansion. All right, you know what? Let's focus, focus, focus. Ulpius, we want to mention... Centilla. Yeah, isn't that right? Let's have a look. Uh, virtue. No, missed that, wasn't it? Uh, right. As, yeah, ask Ulpius how Centilla would feel about his suicide. So we're going to try and use Centilla to talk him down. This will... Am I going to end up having to come out of that portal each morning 
and giving poor Galerius a long list of ludicrous things to do. Gal go save Yulia. Uh, oh, before you do that, go save Ulpius and then do this. And he is a very helpful man, if you think about it, because any sane person would ordinarily just say, I'm sorry, but I'm being punked, aren't I? Okay, can I just talk to... No. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. Right. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? It is. How are you faring so far? Can I... Look, I, I just... I really want to talk to Ulpius first, okay? I will talk to you. I promise. This is a bit of a, an emergency, okay? All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. Right. And if you ever... Or over the coming this is day. How it ends. Okay. I wish I could just tackle oh, no. him. No. No, 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 no. Ulpius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. Right. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know it's things are hard, hard to be patient. Right now. They're hard for all of us. Knowing everything that's We're being said. We're all in this together, Ulpius. I, I need please, to be patient. Please, just think this through. Man on the edge. If you do this, Quite it could literally. be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Oh, it turns out suicide Please, isn't Ulpius. breaking the golden rule. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. It, it's not. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I, w I will be talking to him. Do you really? Good luck, I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh. I, uh, yeah, no, I will talk to him. Um. Thank you. And please... Choose your words carefully. I'm still not 100% sure he actually died last time. That that pool did look... You know what? Diving from this height into water kills you anyway. You'd, you'd have to be like the world's greatest diver to survive that one. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> Obviously, I've been playing too many uh, computer games before uh, finishing archaeology school. Um, is this what Santilla would want? You know about that? I do. How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told you. You really wouldn't. Well, if you say so. I do. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help solve your problem. What happens if I... Yeah, I don't know yet. But th there's got to be some way of helping it's you. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact, and she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. I know. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Lucretia was able to get some Sylphium in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Oh! I'm glad I sent Galerius off to do that rather than... Because my original plan was to come here, talk you down, then go save Yulia. But you, no, she is fine. And you're probably wondering how the hell I know all this. Just... Don't worry. Focus on the fact that she's gonna be fine. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. It's your lucky... 2,000 denarii. I do, though. But why do you need 2,000 denarii? I already know. I do! I believe it or not, I actually do have the money, and you are more than welcome to it. The only problem is, is aren't I going to need this every single morning? Am I not going to need this every single morning? And that's going to... I mean, two, uh, yeah, look, but I do right now, so really? take it right now. Yes. Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you, then. No, you'd be free. Totally free. Sure, why not? No, no, you'd be free. You'd do that for us? A couple of complete strangers? Totally. Of course, if I have to. No, no, of course I would. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Right. Here's the money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I right. just wish there was some way I could repay you. 
But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Keep it. You could tell me about your relic. This seems a little callous, but seeing as we're friends here, really, really, I'm trying to find Centilla, so could you just give me some information about the relationship you had with her? Ah. And there it is. I, I... <sighs> All right. Centilla and I were in love. And then, 22 days ago, she went missing. Right. Why don't you start from the beginning? Yeah. All right. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the Magistrate's Villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. <laughs> I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her. And from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Centilla was the one thing that made my life bearable. But with her gone, things unraveled quickly. You saw how bad it got. Is it possible she... I think you're hiding something. I don't. He was about to throw himself off the... the uh, cliff thing here. Is it possible she escaped somehow? All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody abducted her. How? I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Well, well that would be... Well, who could have taken her? Because someone like you. No, because surely kidnapping is against the, the golden rule. Who might have taken her? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man I have ever known. No. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. Mm, that... I've never seen the inside of it, and I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. All right, well, I will. I've already tried that, and there's no sign of Centilla in there. Which makes sense, because I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not big on Roman law, but you're not really allowed to... He's locked his wife. The Magistrate. Isn't he the only person that could lock Centilla up and it not be breaking the rules? Surely he's the only one that actually has the power to lock Centilla up. Okay, there's, look, there's no Centilla in Maliolus's... Am I still saying that wrong? Yes. But she's not there. Oh, I see. That was the only idea I had. I'll give it some more thought. Come and find me a little later. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. 
Any time. Any, any, any time. Right. Okay, so I have now just used... Woo! All of my money. And if I want to keep him alive tomorrow... I need to do some scavenging. Have you imprisoned your own daughter somewhere? In the upper cistern. The plot thickens. However, I think I'm going to focus on... Well, my original plan, which was to go and speak to Yulia next. Okay, I think that was Ulpius. I also want to speak to... Was it Horatius? It was Horatius. Yeah, that is interesting. Uh, before I leave here, though... Hi. Could I get in there? I can't remember. No, that the Great Temple door is locked. Where was Octavia? Maybe I need to speak to her. Ah! Yeah, no, if I can't speak to her until I've sorted out the thing with Ulpius, but maybe if I can get Galerius to run up here. Maybe... Well, I'd need to have 2,000 coins on me. All right. Well, then, in which case, what's the easiest way of getting down there? Was there another way? There was a way down there. Right. Was there a cable? I'm trying. Are there was? Excellent. Oh, no. Octavia, you're working the Temple Gardens. Excellent. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? Um, well, just again, I am a licensed nosy person, so just what is your story? Here in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. You got a good view as well. You know, work in the garden, not the worst job you could have. How did you end up here? Yeah. Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. So yeah, sorry about that. I'm not going to tell you what it means. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Yeah, God. Don't you mean the gods? Oh, yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> uh, let's talk about something else. If you like. Um, you don't have to know a way out of here. I really want to ask her about that. No, you don't know a way out of here, right? I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. Yeah, I need to check I don't that. put a lot of stock in such rumours. But if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that wealthy. doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods decide our fate. Thanks, but it's definitely a scam. Oh, that! No, that thing! That's what got those two into... No, it's definitely a scam. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm sorry I even suggested it. 
I won't make that mistake again. No, no, no. I wasn't. I'm not telling you off for it. I'm warning you. If for some reason you get the thought to do it, don't do it. What are your thoughts about the golden rule? Yeah. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. <laughs> but on the other hand, That's a better I was rule. always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. And that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get <laughs> stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? We, I, I don't think so. I think people are fundamentally good. Seems that way to me. It's neither, really. But it is mostly... We're, we're, we're born with certain darker impulses, but we also have overriding impulses to form communities, bonds, help each other out. It's what has allowed us to, well, achieve the things we've achieved. If we were born fundamentally nasty, then basically we wouldn't have formed the communities we formed. We, we'd, we'd be a lot of isolated nasty people doing evil crap to each other. So we're capable of both, but I think it, we're just tipping slightly towards being empathetic and good to each other. Some more than others. You don't think that's a little naive? No. Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what I've seen. Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. Oh yeah. Oh no, no. <sighs> People can be crappy. And they will follow the crowd as well. They will. But it is our fundamental instinct to form groups, families, tribes, societies, and help each other out. It's, it, it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to say it's like 51, 49 percent. You should understand that, yeah? Or was that Greek? Is that Rome? Did Latin or Greek? You know what? No, I stand by what I said. Hmm. I wish I shared your faith. Yeah, it's not faith, really. It's just empirical analysis. It's, you know, if you if you get groups of people and you, you, you sort of, like, all agree to help each other out, you'll generally do better than a group of people who are all trying to stab each other in the back. It's just how it works those sort of societies, you end up with one or two people trying to stab each other in the back, but hopefully you've got ways of weeding them out. But if everyone was like that, your whole society just collapses. So, anyway. Ooh, now that we're chatting about philosophical things. So you're a Christian then? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but oh, things are very difficult for I us know. right now. I know, I There was a terrible fire in Rome last year. And our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. I know. It was horrible. Yeah, the secret is safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Oh, I probably do. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm going to be going. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another time, then. I mean, you know, in a way, she's... <laughs> She's got a point some... in some ways. I mean, they were fed to the lions and people cheered. Yeah, that is our species, isn't it? Two sides of the same coin. Just like to think one side is slightly more... Um, dominant. Salve, friend. But only slightly. Anyway, I'm going to take the zip line. See, I'm going to trust our friend Galerius, who is a good man, you see. There are good people. Should have said that before I whizzed off, I guess. Have I been up here? All right. I'm not really supposed to be... Oh! That's not stealing. And I need the money. I'm sorry. It's for a good cause. In a way. It is. 
I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to be able to free you, but... I'm sort of hoping there might be some way, depending on how I handle things here. He says, talking to a statue. See, ordinarily, that would make me a complete nutter. Probably still makes me a complete nutter, doesn't it? What? Am I at the wrong place? I think I'm at the wrong place. What? Note from... I'm locking myself into... Oh! Right, this is the palace. I'm at the palace, but I've actually... Haven't I got... Didn't I get a key for this? Old chest? Arrows. All right. Okay, you know, I'm, I've, I've... I think I need to be going down there. Who's... Who's that? Hello, 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 hello. Yulia! Yulia! You're the person I'm coming to speak to, believe it or not. Sorry. I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Um... Oh, right, okay. Um... I tell you what. Let's just, first of all, can you tell me about yourself? Yeah. You mean my life story? Oh. Well... I grew up as part of a big family in Rome. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't, uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while, until seven months ago when the fires came. Right. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then the next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. So your employer actually told you to just take some valuables and run? He wasn't saying, uh, for me, carry the valuables for me. He was just saying, hey, we're completely screwed. Take what you can, look after yourself. See, that's what I'm talking about. There are good people. Yes, there are crappy people, but the good people they outnumber the crappy. It's just, unfortunately, the crappy people tend to have an uh, over-representative effect on what goes on. Probably because people in crowds tend to react badly. I'm babbling. Sorry, it's been one of those days. I am sorry to hear about what happened to you. Thank you. I consider myself fortunate. At least I'm still alive. Right. No, no. It's a good way to look at it. And so is Ulpius. Do you know a way out of here? Eh, uh, not gonna ask you. Not, no. Cause the way you wanted to get, haven't I already asked you this? Didn't I ask you this? You know what, look, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Do you know anything about Centilla's disappearance? No, I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so I can't help you, I'm afraid. Right, no, no, that's not a problem. I, 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 I just, I'm going to ask you, what do you think of the Golden Rule? Our priestess at Quetia once told me it's the god's way of creating a city without sin. But if that's the case, then whichever god is responsible for it didn't think it through. I mean... All it really does is make bad people better at hiding their sins. And good people too frightened to stand up for themselves. Yeah. I've seen Maliolus, Claudia, and Domitius make grown men cry. Romans. 
They don't cry easily. Yeah. They've never physically hurt anyone. But the point is, they don't have to. They've got people running scared because everyone knows Maliolus is the favorite to win today's election. Can I help? I'm working on that. Is there any way do you is there any way you think I can help? I doubt it. I mean, the election is today, and you've only just arrived. I just don't think there's enough time for you to do anything. No, well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I suppose we will. No, you don't. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be All going. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. It's just, yeah, unfortunately, the bad people do seem to... I think that's the nature of it, isn't it? People who are willing to help each other give up a little for, for their neighbor... They benefit the whole. People who take for themselves benefit themselves, and sometimes it's an easy way to become powerful. It's just, in the long run, the masses have numbers on their side. What's the saying? In the, throughout history, the long arc of history, bends towards justice or something. Yeah. I mean, that's possibly something that sounds a bit naive, but... Yeah. I mean, if it's not true, then... We're all seriously screwed anyway. So, let's not think about it. Let's keep on trying to do good. Let's try to be the side of the coin that we want to be. At least then... At least then you can say you tried. Fountain! A fountain producing f oh, producing fresh water, which is coming from the aqueduct behind it. If water can enter the city via the aqueducts, perhaps there's another way to escape. There might be a way to escape through the aqueducts. True. I'm going to need to get into the system, though, aren't I? I'm going to guess... Where does the water flow? Does it flow underneath the pavement? Mm hmm. Wait... Okay, so I can get up into the... Now, I don't need to. Well, that's not going to help me get into the, um, the upper system. All right. So, I want to speak to Horatius, and let's have a look at this. Walk under the bridge, get the key to the sinner. Find out who's threatening Virgil. I want to speak to Rufius about that. Also, I've got some stuff for Rufius to make him less cranky. I am wondering if I should try to sway the election towards Centillus for now, just to sort of see what would happen. I mean, getting Galerius to run is probably going to take a little time and effort. Oh, I also need to collect coins so that tomorrow I've got enough money to... Why do I keep calling it tomorrow? Because I don't have a better word for it. That's... Right, the toilet. It's, I mean, a communal toilet like this, it's, and, yeah. It's an odd thing it's, to my modern eyes. This is a little, but actually, for those days, this was, this was pretty, pretty advanced. The Romans were actually very hygiene conscious. Communal public toilets, these holes must be designed for use with a sponge on a stick. Yeah, they actually washed themselves afterwards. Hygiene conscious. Again. It's one of those things that we... Oh, hi. Those of us that discovered the um, benefits of hygiene tended to survive longer than those that didn't. It's the same thing with 
banding together and being communal. Always remember they're watching. I do realize at this point I've started to sound like I'm trying to convince myself that there's hope for humanity. Yeah, okay. Right. Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed them all equally. Okay. It's Greek, right? Is Theophilus Greek or Roman? I don't know, actually. Anyway, uh... Oh, we're behind the shrine? We're behind the sh... No, we're not. Okay, I work... Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. Yeah. It does. All right, Virgil. Ah, a new face. Salve. It's not... And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. Okay. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Okay. Um, look. I know you don't know me from from Adam, and you probably don't know who Adam is. Um, but I'm I'm thinking maybe I want to know who you're going to vote for because I've heard of this election, and I know you've got your own problems. And trust me, I have a feeling that you know someone's doing something about it. But like, I think I know who you're going to vote for. Well. Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. Yeah. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. Anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I'll be going then. Nice to talk to you. I'm wondering if, if, if like, like maybe it... Who was he talking? Who did he vote for? I can't... I, didn't he vote for Mal... Yeah, he did vote for Mal... I, I've already forgotten how to say it. I, this is terrible. It is. This is absolutely bloody terrible. I'm pretty sure I, I saw him vote that way as well. That's where he's tending to want to vote for now. I think it was just Horatius that... But I'm just talking to the statue. Of... Hi, I'm new here. Greetings and salutations. You can probably tell. Greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. Yeah. We must stick together, you and I. Yeah, okay. I know, I know, and I... You want to know where I'm from, but really I want to ask you some questions. I do! Yes. Very nosy. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Okay. Oh. Do you know where I might find a Greek... Pla no, I'm going to look for the... Just, just, just... Bear with me. I... I, right now, too many things to focus on. Who are you going to vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. Oh, yeah. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Ah. Anything I can do to change that? Like, get Domitius off your back? Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Oh. All right. All right, you know what? While I'm here, do you know where I might find a Greek plaque? And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me, because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am Hades. flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Roman. Plus, I have no hair left <laughs> to pull. I but was... my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Oh! Okay. He cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And he's and besides, yeah. it makes him happy. 
So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. All right, no, I, I thought that was it. I hope that our paths cross again soon. Thank you. So, I've got to let him out to get... I thought I had to get the key from him and the plaque was going to be in there and I wasn't sure what that thing was in the cell with him. Or maybe I thought, you know, I mean, like, there was a chance it was going to be the plaque, but now I'm pretty sure what's in the system is actually something more important. Jord okay, Galerius is here. Do I want to... Oh, tell you what, before I... I got too many things. How much would you want to make me a I've got too many things I need to find out in the meantime. What I want to do now is while I'm remembering it, I want to go and see if there's still some money up there because I'm going to need as much money as I can get to keep repeating this tomorrow. 1,000. Oh, plus some arrows. All right, that's... Maybe I can only save Ulpius and uh, Yulia from their uh, slavery once every two days. I mean, I don't have... This is awful. This is this is terrible. This is the way I'm thinking. I don't have to save them every day. I just need to make sure I save them on the last day. Wow. I'm beginning to play God with people's lives in a city where gods or a god is playing with people's lives. Okay, I've actually got one and a half thousand coins. And there was a few places down in the tunnels where... Did I get through there? I can't quite remember. You're not going to let me through. I can't kick you. No. You're not one of the... Oh, you're one of the statues that actually... Oh, you know what? This is going to sound utterly crazy. There's a side of me once, next time the golden rule gets broken, to just run down here once she's moved and find out what is in there. if there's another way in there. Right. No, anyway, um... I want to go and speak to Horatius and Rufius about which one of them is messing with Virgil. I also... Ulpius, you said you might have some ideas later on. Can I... About Centilla? Shalom. Shalom. Okay. Before we do anything, isn't you know anyway? You know what? Um, what's your story? Let's just—I just want to get to know you better first of all before I ask you about any ideas you might have. You mean where am I from and all that? Judea, originally. Right. I thought. But when I was a child, I yes, moved to Rome with my family, romanized my name, and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans Tiberim across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out I of feel Rome you. was in chaos, full of people with all their belongings in carts and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road and went to defend them. I Good can man. only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest by a river not far from here with no memory of how I got there. It's strange, though, because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river but not take my coins? Yeah. Good on you for risking your life to help others. Yes. A lot of good it did me and that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. Right, yeah. 
Now, you don't know a way out of here. We know that. What do you think of the golden rule? I'm guessing that's... Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment, so... I guess you're looking for a pithy summary? <laughs> I like pithy. You remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a Gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. Obliging, he replied, What is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Of course. Awesome. What I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god. That's for sure. We don't know she was abducted for sure. We don't. But I'm beginning to think you're right. That's the thing. Because I'm, I'm believing you about your relationship. I found hints. So, yeah. Unless you're an exceptionally good liar. Um, and, you know, you put graffiti up in advance knowing this would happen. No, I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's a good question. Thanks. I just wish there was a way to find out. Oh, there might be. Out of curiosity, who are you going to vote for? Sentius. I suppose. Okay. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Of course. Right, that makes it two to four. No. One more will make it a tie. All right. Okay. No key. Mm. I kind of feel like I want to be at the um, election. She's going to make diving into that. You know what? I'm mumbling to myself while you're staring at me. Have you had any more ideas about when, where Centilla might be? I feel like I've looked everywhere. At least everywhere I could get to. There are still two places I've never been able to reach. First, the palace. Been there. If Navia managed to get in, then I suppose Centilla could have too. She's the not there. The only other place she could be is somewhere in the cistern network. Yes! I remember hearing that Dooley had been poking around in the upper cistern before he was locked up. Of so course! You could ask him about it, I suppose. Of course! That's why Sentius locked Dooley up. He wasn't afraid of him pressing the giant red button. He was afraid of what he'd found. 